Good afternoon. My name is Samuel. I'm associate pastor at New Hope Presbyterian Church. And this is uh, your afternoon, what day is today? Wednesday afternoon update and devotional. Before we get in the devotional, just address a couple of things that are going on as this is a constantly changing situation. One is I really encourage you to click that subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner. That's the way you get notified anytime there's a video update and there's gonna be more and more content as we move forward from the pastors with updates and devotionals, but also from our kids ministry and student ministry as we try to find ways to resource our parent, our, uh, our parents as, they, as we partner with them. And I know a lot of you have kids at home right now. We've got kids at home. Um, what are some things and resources we can get out to you guys? So that's one of the things you need to know about. Also, we're gonna be moving forward in setting up a platform so that not only can you just receive content or information from us, but also that we can communicate as small groups um, as well. So we've got a Zoom account, and if you're a small group leader, be on the lookout for that. But Zoom is basically a video conferencing platform, which is gonna allow us to gather together online in groups and have conversations with one another. And so be on the lookout for more of that coming down the pipe as well. Also, I got a couple of questions about giving. Um, one is, yes, you can text to give. The number is down below. You just text that phone number. Um, a, an amount or um, or even words and the first time you text it it'll take you to a website where you put your information in there and then from then on out if you text it a number it'll say oh thank you for your donation um, of let's say you type 10 in ten dollars so that's how that works also some people were asking about our mailbox yes our mailbox is completely secure if you have other online giving questions go to our web page and under the tab under giving you can see all the different ways in which you could continue to maintain the ministry and mission of new hope presbyterian church now our devotional for today is from jeremiah 29 7. and just to put a little context into what was going on in jeremiah the Babylonians had recently conquered uh, Jerusalem, burned their city to the ground, and they had taken the people into exile. And as you can imagine, there was a lot of fear and anxiety, a lot of anger, all sorts of emotions about how do we treat our conquerors in a situation like this? And listen to the words of, of God through Jeremiah. He says this in Jeremiah 29, 7. Seek the peace and the prosperity of the city to which I have carried you. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you will prosper. So in the middle of this incredibly devastating event, God says a couple of things. One, I have carried you to where you are. So hear that first of all. Our God is a sovereign God. He is the creator of the universe. All things are in control and in his hands. He has us. And we know as believers that Jesus has had victory over the ultimate enemy, which is sin and death. So that foundationally, no matter what happens, we are covered. And we have that hope and we trust in that hope. Secondarily, we see that even in that devastating context, what the people of God were supposed to be thinking about is not only themselves and their community, but the way in which they can care and love others. Now today is a beautiful day and I thought it would be nice to go outside and I've already gotten a number of looks, but I probably met six or seven neighbors that I had never met before. We kept our social distance from one another, but this is an incredible opportunity right now for us to love on our church family, the people that we call brothers and sisters in Christ, and also to reach out to our neighbors and our communities and show that Christians don't have a spirit of fear, but we have a spirit of self-control and love and compassion. So some of the things that we're doing as a community, uh, we've reached out to Panther Lake Elementary to ask how we can help in uh, the process of making sure students get fed. We've reached out to Valley Medical as well. So if you're looking for volunteer opportunities, let us know. Um, and we're gonna be posting kind of some information like that on our website. Uh, the deacons have been mobilized and they should be calling every single person who's a member or really a regular attender at our church just to check in on you and see how you're doing. Um, if you don't get a contact, um, it's probably just because our, our records aren't as up to date as possible, but email us anything at all. Um, hello at newhopekent.org. I'll put all of this information down in the description below. 
but we're here for you. And just because we are trying to keep our distance from one another and try to slow down the progress of this disease doesn't mean that we can't communicate with one another. And I encourage you, reach out to your friends and um, family members. This is a great time to stop and just pick up the phone and call one another and express care for one another. And then also individually, maybe get out in your neighborhood. It's a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous time to be outside um, and maybe strike up some conversations with some folks around you. There's um, a number of uh, software options out there that can help you with this, but one of them is called Nextdoor. If you haven't heard of that before, I encourage you to get on there. Most neighborhoods are on there, but it's a way in which you can just dialogue and have conversations with your neighbors. I've seen a number of people volunteering and saying, hey, if you're shut in in my neighborhood or on my block, let me know and I'll go do a grocery run for you. You might not be able to do that, but if you are, it's a great way regardless to connect to the people that are around you. Finally, um, take this time to grow close to God and pray. It's the number of calls to prayer, and I, I believe even tonight is a call to national prayer, I think it's 7 p.m. Um, but one of the things that's happened because of this is that for many of us, our pace of life has slowed down. And it's given us extra opportunity to maybe go outside and go on a walk, to spend time speaking with God, listening to him, praying for our neighbors and our family, praying for the peace and the prosperity of our city. This is a great time to draw close to God, to pray to him, and to hear back from him. Um, so that's your devotional for today. Again, subscribe, come back and check on for more videos and for more updates as time goes on. we are continue to be in prayer for you, and we're here um, anytime that you want to contact or talk to us, and there'll be more information coming out as time goes on. Thank you for the time today. Let me pray for us. Our Father in heaven, we do thank you for this day. We recognize that our citizenship lies in heaven, that you ultimately are the victor over sin and death itself. We proclaim that in the places that we live, work, and play, in word and in deed. Father, give us direction. Show us the way forward. Show us how we might be light and salt in this world. Show us how we might show compassion and love and care for our neighbors, for our church family and for the world. Pray these things in Jesus' name. It's great talking to you today. Look forward to future conversations um, as we go forward, not just from me, but hearing back from you as well. God bless.